29 seconds north, the guy just said. Seventeen. Fifty-eight. Three, four, point four, point two, nine latitude. And I'm looking for one, one, eight, point one, seven, point five, eight. Oh, come on! I can't see the numbers on the thing. It's ridiculous. The lot numbers 1876988. Unfortunately, that is just the beginning. We have at least a million lot numbers in the Los Angeles area. Registrations are in alphabetical order. You need to convert your lot number to a letter. How do I do that? Over here. This adding machine. There are 90,000 entries to a book. Divide your lot number by 90,000. 1876988. Divided by 90,000. Yes. What was it again? 187. What was it? I forget. One eight seven six nine eight eight. One eight seven six nine eight eight. One eight seven six nine eight. Yeah, I get it, dude. I just looked at it again. I can't divide it by ninety thousand. Oh, they're making me do math problems. Okay. Oh, how many time? How long does this take? Equals one eight seven twenty. A starts at zero, so you want to add one to your number. Twenty one. That number is your letter of the alphabet. Check the letter, find the right aisle. You are in business. You do this every day. Twenty one. What would that be? A B. Let's count them down here so we, so we don't make any mistakes. Uh, where is A? I don't see A here. Oh, here it is. A. Oh, A A's on this side and B's on this side. A, B, four, five, no, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, no, shit, I wasn't paying attention, oops, <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, oh, let me just count, It should be K. <laughs> Would have been easier to count in the first place. Uh, K, 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 where are you? K! Come on. J, K. Where is K, god damn it? What the fuck? C D E F G H I Oh here it is. Is that the right one? Isn't it letter isn't it letter twenty one in the alphabet? Okay, I counted wrong. I <laughs> I counted 11 instead of... Should be you. Yeah, it's you. There we go. 
Let's see what the side is worth. Whoa! It's uh, one eight seven one six eight seven six nine eight eight. One eight seven six nine. This is it, huh? One eight seven six nine eight eight. Book value is three fifty. The new home in place. The improved value of the property is thirty five hundred. We can make a killing. How do they pull it off? We can add a zero to everything. Well, time to blow these guys away. The why I pump for the caddy. The extra trunk space. One thing you learn in the war, boys. You do your talking once the smoke clears. That's, that's he's talking himself. <laughs> Come on, asshole. One down. Three to go. Oh, uh, I hear the hear, I heard the sound of the blood. Whoa! Ah, they, they totally surprised me. Christ, just missed. Got them all. Just blew four guys away. What was it for? Yeah, I believe it was four. I need a word, Courtney. That's okay, Jack. You, you didn't need to come all the way down. It's important, Courtney. How can I help? Tell me about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. What are you talking about? Don't fuck with me, Courtney! Jack, I swear, I don't know what you're talking about. How does your name appear as one of the investors in the Suburban Redevelopment Fund? You're out of your mind. I was down at the Hall of Records checking on a property company called Elysian Fields Developments. Their funding comes from the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Seriously, Jack, I have no idea. Your name is there, Courtney, with some pretty interesting company. The mayor, the district attorney, some dirty cops, and your buddy, Dr. Harlan Fontaine. Dr. Fontaine? Spill it, Courtney. I want all of them. Fontaine and the rest. Fontaine took the morphine off my hands. Look, Jack, I know you said to get rid of it, but it's okay. I did something good for once. He reinvested the money for us. That's it. To the Suburban Redevelopment That's Fund. They're building houses for GIs, Jack. I turned a mistake into something beneficial. Something that's going no, you to help didn't. the guys. Courtney, they're building matchstick houses. They're going to burn them for the insurance money. They'll probably stiff the poor bastards for the deposits. Please, Jack. Say it isn't so. Harlan's a doctor. A good one. He helps out a lot of people. He's dirty. Looks like he's helping himself, Courtney. You're the fall guy. Keep smoking, keep smoking your weed. <laughs> Dr. Harlan Fontaine, it's the telephone. Jack Gosso. Who's asking? Leland Monroe. I was wondering when you'd get around to calling. I'd like to meet with you, Mr. Kelso. <laughs> I bet you would, Mr. Monroe. But I value my skin highly enough to not want to meet with you. Why don't you just send some more of your boys around and we'll have a nice cup of tea. You realize that I could make you a very wealthy man, Mr. Kelso. Better than $220 a month? You're a very witty man, Kelso. Substantially better. I'm going to have to let it slide, Mr. Monroe. Are you haggling with me, Jack? I might be. 
Come around to my place at 9. 5164 Santa Monica Boulevard. Come? I might. Good night, Mr. Monroe. Who's he calling now?